And this is something that I want to ask all of you, Dr. McMurray Heath, I'll start with you. It's obviously no surprise that a lot of people feel that the U.S. healthcare system has failed them, that they don't have trust in it or in doctors for whatever reason that their personal experience might have shaped them, that there are barriers that exist that, that prevent them from getting adequate care. So when we talk about universal coverage, do you think that's something that would help address these inequities and level the playing field? Is that something that's even possible with a system as complex and decentralized as the U.S. healthcare system? It's obviously been a big point of debate, so I'm just curious how you all kind of view um, that proposal and whether it's something that's feasible here. Yeah, well, I can't speak to the possibility, but I will speak to the necessity. We must have universal access to care and patients should not face financial barriers in terms of getting their medications and following their doctor's advice. That's why the Biotechnology Innovation Organization is really focused on trying to lower out-of-pocket costs, but it goes beyond that. You know, it was so clear from what Dr. Arwoody said and Dr. Callan said, that we also have to make sure that we are involving communities of color and vulnerable communities in every step of the drug development and um, research pathway so that we're sure that what comes out at the end of the day benefits all communities equally. Um, this is incredibly important and there have been structural barriers to this in the past that must come down. 